Hey guys, Matt, Midwest Brew Review. We're back at Melonhurst Brewing. It's their fourth year anniversary. We always seem to be here. And let's just drink all these beers. It's smooth jammies parties. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the sticky because I remember that one having a really good maple. Do it. Oh, it's even stronger. Oh, it's so good. It's the second one? Yeah, it's like, yeah, you get that like warm pancake feel and it just warms your belly and warms your heart. I like this one. Uh, I'm saving the spicy one for Matt, so we're gonna turn the camera around and, and we'll do the spicy one because he's the, the pepper expert. Uh, really punches you right in the face there with that Szechuan peppercorn, but then the pepper in the back definitely comes through. Um, it kind of hits you in the back of the throat there. I have a feeling if, as I keep drinking this, it's going to build a little more and more, which I love about these kind of beers. This is why this is one of our favorites, is because it doesn't have that green vegetal pepper flavor, and it has that spice though, and the perfect flavor of the pepper coming through, not just like biting into a, a raw pepper, which is just delicious. Okay, we're back. We have a barrel aged jammies. This is my first barrel aged version of the new jammies series. This is Heaven Hill vanilla and cocoa nibs. Okay, that is good barrel heat, man. That's a nice fresh barrel. You can tell a lot of aroma coming out of it. Plenty of whiskey bite. Uh, vanilla, cocoa, definitely underneath the barrel tones, but smoothing the whole thing out. Next up, double barrel. The double barrel is a barrel aged beer that we have 16 barrels in the back. And the double barrel, the mug club, the 13 tap mug club is a private membership. And the mug club members expect a new beer every couple of weeks. So we, Cam actually pulled the double barrel. He pulled two barrels of our smooth jammies, blended them, and did an excellent job. And that was the 13th tap for uh, a couple of weeks. And now we've changed it out, and now it's the fourth anniversary beer, which you are drinking what? Well, I'm drinking the double barrel jammies smooth. What do you think? Aged in brandy and Heaven Hill. The cool part about this is, after tasting the other ones, that brandy barrel kind of almost like yep. like mellows out everything. Yep. We're coming off of the full on like barrel aged jammies into this double where the brandy kind of kind of cools it down a little bit. Not the barrel's not so hot um, and it's kind of sweet. It's got a nice little sweet tinge to I think it. So yeah, I, I, I love it. I, yeah. This is fantastic. But well, wait till you try the uh, the four year because that's four different. I'm excited barrels. about the four year. I so, love that beer. That's a phenomenal. Beer. I think Billy's gonna hit that one in the next after this actually. But hang on, I'm just gonna just. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Oh, that's great. These guys have gone from just having a handful of barrels in the back in this tiny little room to expanding to, I think they four times as much, so like 16 plus barrels now in the back. So this is the point in a brewery's cycle where they can start blending and experimenting with barrels. It's not just the one barrel, that one off cool thing. Now they've got different ones to play with. So Cam's got a big old playground back there now. So I'm excited. Oh man. That is so good. The barrel blend is amazing. It's sweet. It's it's super rounded. Not a big rye bite, but I think it's just all working together really nicely. And this beer is so good. Matt, I think Matt needs to try this. Beer. All right. Yeah, I like the surprisingly like the sweetness. Come on, dude. That's not even fair. And because this one's blended all together in four different barrels and everything, it's got this like very rounded, as you said, Billy, this very rounded flavor 
where it's, there's nothing sharp about it. It's not mellow though, that's the thing. Like the, the punch, like with the brandy barrel aged one that we just talked about, that one kind of mellowed out the barrel aging to where it's not as hot. This one has the bar all those barrels coming through. It's, it's unbelievable how, how rounded that is. It's got, it's got flavor going, different flavors going through the entire time you're, you're taking a drink of it. It's, it's fantastic. Between the last time we saw these guys and now on their anniversary, they've done some huge things and they've battled through COVID and they've come out on top and we've got awards to talk about and all sorts of things. So I'm going to turn it over to Pete. Pete, please tell us about the year you've had and what you guys have coming up. So we, we've had a really interesting uh, 2021, uh, much better than 2020, uh, but still some struggles with the COVID and as everybody knows, there's been some uh, distribution issues and some labor issues, but we've got a really good team here and we've, we've kind of made it through and we're, we're most excited about where we're headed. Um, things are definitely on the up and up. We just looked and our, our 2022 is already looking up much better than 2021. Um, and we're excited about that, about a lot of the forecasts that are coming through. Um, so the business is looking good and we're most excited about a lot of the beer that Cam is producing. We have had record breaking year in terms of beer production um, and we are very proud that our beer is starting to get recognized in the manner which we always thought it should. Um, so Cam has uh, hit a couple medals for us and a couple beer markers and I will let Cam talk about that most exciting part of the business that y'all want to hear about. So um, we won a couple new awards this year. Um, one of the awards that we won was a bronze medal for our Oktoberfest. Um, I have been making this Oktoberfest for uh, basically since we opened up. Um, it's amazing to get recognition for some of these harder to brew traditional styles. Um, but even more so than that, it's amazing to get recognition for uh, my absolute oldest recipe that I have. It's the first award that I ever won was for my Schwartz beer. Um, Schwartz beer has been a beer that I've been making at every brewery that I've ever worked for. Um, I've been making it since I was a home brewer and I'm still making it today. Yeah! And we even just got recognized even this year, Silver Medal World Beer Championship. Um, I've been making it for, for 15 years and I'm apparently still making the second best one in the entire world um, of the shore sphere here. So if you, if you were to look it up in the dictionary of Cam, this is what beer is. It is an easy drinking, roasty, um, just like just solid lager style beer. And the fact that I'm finally getting like some awesome recognition for it just makes it even better. Like it's always been my favorite beer, and now that I know it's some other people's favorite beer too, uh, makes it even a little bit better for me. So it, it, it's kind of awesome. So, cheers, guys. Cheers.